Health authorities across the capital region have issued a new COVID-19 health advisory. This comes after a COVID outbreak linked to the White House. So why is this new guidance? Why do we need it if the White House is supposed to be taking care of its COVID cases? Kobe Satterfield joins us live outside the White House. And Kobe, what are local health authorities saying about this? Bruce, local health officers are saying that to their understanding, limited contact tracing has been done despite a growing number of COVID cases. That's why they say they have come up with this new set of guidelines adding that there may be additional staff and residents who could have had COVID-19 exposure. 12 days after this White House event, numerous staffers and elected officials have tested positive and been exposed to COVID-19, including people who called the D.C. metro region home. We hear about the, the more notable uh, folks on the news, but we know that there are other folks who are working and, you know, from housekeepers and staff members to, you know, drivers and, uh, you know, other administrative staff who have been potentially exposed. Dr. Travis Gales is the health officer for Montgomery County. He says concerns stemming from the Supreme Court nomination ceremony have been raised. There have been some concerns related to that particular event, uh, but we know that since then we have also seen other cases pop up in other areas, which leads us to be concerned about, you know, the full spectrum of contact tracing that occurred. Concerns that led to this advisory being issued today, signed by 10 health officers from jurisdictions in the capital region that says their preliminary understanding is that there has been limited contact tracing performed and other staff and residents could be at risk for exposure to COVID positive individuals who oversees contact tracing at the White House. D.C. Mayor Bowser's administration told WUSA 9 last week it would be up to the White House Physician's Office. And just yesterday, confirmed D.C. Health Officer Dr. Nesbitt had been in touch with those health officials. If someone is concerned about being identified as a contact, what should you do? The advisory recommends people who have worked in the White House in the past two weeks, attended the Supreme Court announcement, or had close contact with someone who has been in those spaces or attended the events to get a COVID test and contact your local health department. That affords us the opportunity if they do test positive for us to do a full in-depth contact tracing exercise and investigation so we can get a true sense of what's the full scope, potential scope of cases involved. Bruce, it is also important to add that even if you have a negative COVID test, you are still required to self quarantine, which the CDC recommends is 14 days. I'm live at the White House, Colby Satterfield, WUSA 9.